Hello, this is Andrew Ford for Photo Focus, and today we're going to bring images to life using the PowerVent script for After Effects. PowerVent is available from aescripts.com for free or for a donation, and it basically folds or unfolds layers in After Effects. We're going to use it to bring this photo of me and my wife to life. So in Photoshop, here's the original layer. You can see that I have cropped out the foreground, which would be the cliff and us. And then we have the background with the foreground removed. And I basically use content to wear fill and some clone stamping to fill in the water where the vacant area was. Note this isn't great, but it doesn't have to be. It's going to be on screen for about two frames total. And then we save out our PSD and we bring it into After Effects. Because we want all the layers, we're going to bring it in as a composition. When we open it up, we see our three layers. We'll delete the original layer, leaving us with our foreground and background. For both the foreground and background layer, we're going to make a pre-comp. So we go to Layer Pre-Compose. We'll call that Foreground PC for pre-comp. We do the same with the background layer. Background PC for pre-comp. And now we can click on our Foreground PC composition and apply the script. Go to Edit, Scripts, and PowerVent. This will make the PowerVent window appear. We'll drag it over here and we have a few options. We have number of panels. This is basically the number of folds that will occur. The folding direction, folding decay, how long it lasts, and the decay order, which is different equations for how the folding occurs. So for this run, we're gonna do eight panels. We'll fold downward. We'll have a folding decay of six and we'll do linear and we'll apply the effect and we'll see what we get. Once we hit the Create button, you'll see that it made a new composition called PowerVent with the time code of when you did this, and you can play the composition and see the results. What I like to do is rename the composition with the settings I use. So in this case, 8 for panels, D for down, 6 for the folding decay setting, and L for the decay order that we used. That way, when you do a bunch of these, you'll know what's what. So as we scroll down here, we'll see that we are folding out of frame. That's how the effect works. But what we will do is reverse this on our main composition so that we fold into frame. And just to get an idea of how that looks, we can scrub backwards and see. Now notice at the end here, at time zero, it hasn't finished folding. This is a problem because in our main composition, when we run this backwards, we won't be able to make a still frame of the last frame and hold it there because we'll have this unfolded piece. But that's no problem. We can highlight our control layers and move them over five frames. And now when you scrub back, it gives enough time for the composition to fully unfold. We scrub it back and we see that it looks good when it pops into frame when we're running it in reverse. So now we go to our main composition and we'll drag in our new PowerVent composition. And there we are. As we discussed, we will reverse the layer. Because we reversed the layer, we need to go to the end of it to find where we first pop into frame, which is down here. This is where we will start our composition. So we'll chop the rest off and we'll bring this part down to the beginning of the timeline. And now if we play it, there we are folding up into the composition. Now we probably want this to pop in a little faster. So we'll go to time stretch and make this occur slightly quicker. One second, that shortens the composition. We got to bring it back to time zero. And now we'll want to bring in the foreground PC composition to act as our still frame for when our power vent motion is over. Then we'll drag in our background PC layer and here is our final composition. Now we can make the foreground layer scale up a little bit. You see that pretty often. And now we have a little more life and interest to it. And we can render this and play it again and see our final composition. That's one unique thing you can do with this effect besides folding and unfolding text banners. Uh, there's other things you could do here. You could have had this cliff in the back fold out from the side. You could have had the sky fold down, but this is just a quick example. One more example I'd like to show you. We have an illustration of a skyline that I got with stock footage. And we've applied the PowerVent script with the fold up setting. And that's how it looks. The city folds up off the screen. When we bring it into our main composition, we will still reverse the timeline because remember, we don't want it to fold up off the screen. But in this instance, I'd like the city to fold open from the middle of the screen. So we have our blue guide here to show us where the middle of the screen is. And I've made position keyframes to keep this layer in the middle of the screen. So it opens up in the middle. It doesn't come up from the bottom, doesn't come down from the top. 
It just opens from the middle. And I think that's a pretty neat effect. So just another idea of what you can do with the versatile PowerVent script. Thank you.